Hey, so I'm recording off my computer, so I don't know how well my microphone is. I'm hoping it's good quality enough for this video. Um, my friends and I want to talk about a serious situation that has been going on all week this past week, and I think a little bit in the last weekend. Um, so, there has been some paranormal stuff going on in our houses, both of our houses, but especially... Me and my husband's house has been having it a lot. Now, it's not like creepy things where things would randomly, like, physically move, maybe. Well, actually, yes. But, like, not big things would move where during the day we'll notice it. But we were watching this video one day, and, like, a Petunia joke, which is the name of a ghost, yeah. came up. And I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I hate that Petunia, ha, 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 like that little laugh thing. It's creeping me out, you know? And I was like, you know, whatever. I just kind of told the joke, Petunia. And I was like, Petunia, move something or whatever, and it didn't move. And it was fine. And and you were like, oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, I'm just whatever a joke. Like, I know it's not actually going to happen, you know, whatever. And me and my husband and my friends go to bed. And lo and behold, 20 minutes later, we're relaxed in bed, you know, it's like 12 a.m. in the morning, very, very late, and we hear something move in my room very loudly. Yeah, and can I say Yes, something? go ahead. I it's am your... in the back, so I'm going to try and Right, speak. just move closer a little it's, bit. It's fine. I don't mind not being that hurried. Um, uh -huh. So, like, I'm going to try and speak a little louder. So, we were asleep. Or trying to fall asleep. And it was like, a, what, 11? Like 12 a.m. 12 a.m. or 11. And we thought, okay, we're going to bed quite late tonight. We're going to be fine because this happens all the time. Yeah. We lay in bed, or we get put in bed, and we start hearing... Like creepy noises. Like rustling. Pure, but that's not the first. I know, but pure rustling. This is my view or Experience story of it. Of it. Um, we start hearing rustling, and like we're like, oh, that's a weird air vent thing that happened. Yeah, I'm like, we were like, used to that, but it's now. been happening for like nothing. one if year something's now. Something's in there; it's not coming out. Yep. Okay. Um, oh. pause on that. So I was in my bed. Obviously, it's near the air vent, yeah. very close, and my bag with my cleaning oh, supplies yeah. for my pee stuff, like catheterizations. It has my lube in there, it has yep. my mats, it has like wipes lives. and sterilization mats for there, that area. Um, and I was fine, like that That doesn't normally happen. It was it red, yeah, it was red beside my vent that helps me breathe that night, connected to my BiPAP mask. I was like, it never moved for like a week I've been having that bag. Yeah, not much, and it was wedged pretty damn good that it wouldn't have moved. And if it fallen over, it make a little pff noise like it. Uh, it sounded like someone knocked it over, like a basic noise. But what me and my husband heard was this loud bang. Like I was falling, drifting out to sleep because my dad's a pain that helps me sleep, and I Guys, got dad's was pain. like kicking in, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna drift. And I awoke immediately after I heard that loud banging like it sound like it falling Pure the other banging. way like, and if the bag would have fallen it would make like this tiniest noise ever it sound like some there's a tin beside my bag and it sound like someone had physically hit the tin and knocked over the bag like it sound like it was dropped from quite a high height yeah the bag is on the floor may i mention and so it sounded like somebody knocked the tin and knocked the bag completely over loud enough that it abruptly me and my husband from our sleep. And I was like, what? Which, keep in mind, they don't awake easily. I mean, no. they kind of do, but not me. And I was like, what was that? And I got chills down my spine. And my I'm husband like was like, uh, Sydney, can you check that out? And my wife goes to check it out. And she's like, the bag fell over, but how did it make that loud noise? And the tin wasn't moved. Like it was never moved. What moved. knocked the tin? Like, like what it physically bumped it? Like it sounded like knocking on the tin. Like physical human knocking on the tin. 
I cannot go to the tent. I wasn't in my wheelchair. I was in my bed, which I can only move my thumb and barely my neck. And so I don't have enough strength. And my husband was all feet away from the tent. And he has a hard time transferring and getting out of bed. He had his catheterization bag in. And he was weighed down by his bipart mask and stuff. So it wouldn't... So he can't do that. He was asleep. And my wife was asleep with us, nowhere near that tent. Yeah. And it sounded like physically human knocking on that tent. And well, I can't tell home. you enough, that was horrifying. So I was like, okay, that was fucking horrifying. Let's just go back to bed. I was like, three, I was out. three minutes later, I hear more rustling in my house. What the fuck? Like, okay. Uh, and it wasn't the tent. It, it was like us. it was like like loud enough rustling that sounded like somebody was walking in our house. Uh last time I checked, me and my husband can't walk, and no one in my wife was can... lying down. Who's walking? My husband and I are injured enough to the point we cannot walk, even with physical therapy, and that's fine. That has it not bothered us at once. And so it sounded like somebody was rustling, walking through our house, and I was like, "What in the fuck?" And we got a flashlight to check it out. My wife's walking through the house, looking through and seeing what's going on, specifically in my fucking bedroom. Not terrifying at all where I sleep and I cannot move. Um, and it's not nothing there. We go to bed. It gets even louder. Well, now I know that something in our house is coming closer towards me and my husband's direction. Not creepy at all. Lo and behold, Sydney checks six times. Nothing there. Ugh. We check on the dock's shelf. Nothing there. Like nothing. There was nothing. Nothing was seen in sight. And throughout that whole day, or throughout that night, for at least a scary 30 minutes, we just kept hearing paper rustling and banging on tins and just horrifying stuff you don't want to hear at 1 a.m. in the morning. Who the fuck would want to So that was that? Fu- terrifying. And there was no other noises throughout the night. Surprisingly, me and my husband went back to sleep. And the next morning... Like, in the afternoon, like, it was around 2 p.m., we hear a loud poof at our window. I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah, Literally, hours after that, like, banging at our tins and in our house, we hear, like, a loud bang that something sound like, again, physically hitting the window. Oh, no. Exactly. What's hidden our window? And no, nothing was there. Sydney looked out the window. Nothing was there. Once again. And throughout that day, we kept hearing little creaks and pops. And we have an old house, so it would kind of do that most yeah. of the time. And that's nothing scary we have to look for. But that never just, scared us, keep in yeah, mind. Like, at first it scared us, and we're like, oh, okay. Yeah, and then there was, like, random walking, and it was, like, sound like somebody was physically walking, and, like, knocking on our tins, and stuff like that. Um, and we just kept hearing repeated walking, and banging, moving, physically, and, like, that's, if I don't, if that's not horrifying, I don't know what is. Um, and this afternoon as well, we heard a random in my corner, upstairs. Fuck. So, and nothing fell. My husband and uh, Sydney looked at it earlier. Nothing fell in our house, upstairs. Uh, didn't we just organize that like a day ago? Yeah. It's fully organized. Nothing can fall. And nothing did fall. But yet, we heard something falling. And I was like, okay, that's a little fucking creepy after, you know, banging and moving and whatever. Which is just downright horrifying to hear in your house. And so for the past week, we've been hearing pops, bangs, more banging, like human knocking. 
Oh, uh, last time I checked, there's no other humans in our house. There's only me, my husband, and Sydney, and my friends. Why the hell does it sound like another human being is walking in our house? The only human being in my house can walk is my wife, who wasn't walking at the time. She was lying down in bed, sitting up. Who's walking at this time? Wait, bro. But who is walking? Because me and my husband can't walk. My husband is a C5, C6, quadriplegic. Incomplete. Yeah, incomplete quadriplegic who cannot walk. Um, he can move his arms, can't walk. Yeah, I haven't been able to walk since 38 years old. I'm 66. I haven't been able to walk for, I don't know, two human years now. So, uh, okay. what's going on now? Did that mean like, today hits, now? today hit the day where I cannot walk for two human years. I know damn well it's not been two human years since this moment. No. No. Honey, this was a week ago. It's been four human years for me. And so, it's just been creepy. Um, I hate to say that all this paranormal shit has been acting up and going on in the house. Um, we don't see nothing physical. I swear to God, on that creepy night too, I saw something move in the corner of my eye. It was something black, but brown. What? That's creepy. And we checked everywhere at least ten times. Nothing was there. And I swear to God, I saw something hit the tin and run off. Babe, what was that? Because I know if I'm if I'm hallucinating, please send me to mental help. What well, exactly? Because what in the fuck? I was, and I was like, what? I, my husband jolted up. He was like, what the fuck? And I was like, babe. I saw something move in my and like six inches away from me. Um, I cannot move, babe. I saw something move half a foot away from me. Oh, oh no! This uh, it was so close to me, and then I it's nowhere near my house. What was that? I swear to God, I was either hallucinating that night, but me and my friends had so much rustling, banging, moving physical moving out stuff, things falling at random points in time when it's not supposed to and fall. And, like, it literally made us clean out the bottom of our, like, wooden shelf to know that there was nothing. Yeah. And, and every so often I'll hear, like, rustling, tapping. Like, scratching. Yeah, and so there's just been so much paranormal stuff going on in our house, sadly. I don't know what it is. Uh, if we ever have any more stories to tell you, we will, but... That was the paranormal stuff that has been going on all this week. Um, it had it stopped for a couple of days, and then today we heard it. Fuck! What the fuck? Stop! <laughs> Don't do this again. But anyway, that was all the creepy, horrifying, paranormal shit going on in our house that I'm afraid to say, but it's been happening. Um, sorry, we're going to be spammy the next couple yes. of days. Um, uh, I have. My 21st round of chemotherapy tomorrow, um, and I also have surgery, which is going out on the 10th of this month. It's June 8th, um, so in two days you'll get the surgery video, um, and then Doc has surgery, so you'll be getting her surgery yep. video on the 10th or the 11th as well. Um, and then chemo on Monday. Yep, so. And a new um, medication that's coming yep. out. On my two new medications yep, for lateral so sclerosis. Over the course of the next four or three days, we are going to be spamming. I'm so sorry. Um, we've been taking breaks, a couple, like two-day breaks, which has been great. We've had it in two days as of now. Oh, yeah, so it just barely hit two days ago that we uh, have not uploaded. So I'm sorry that we're spamming all of this. I'll try to upload my chemotherapy vlog as late as I pop physically can. Um, we don't want to miss the day, however. Yeah, and then I don't, and I'll try to upload my surgery vlog as late as I can so we can make these days kind of render out slowly. So I'm sorry that that happen. I'm really sweaty. I don't know why. Oh, I just yeah. got really, really hot. <laughs> like, so I'm reason physically I'm sweaty. My head, I'm getting hot, babe. Wait, what the crap? Why am I getting hot? I'm hot. Wait, oh my god, weird. I feel feverish. That's really No, I'm like sweating. Come here. No, come here, please. I'm, I got really fuck? hot. What the fuck? What I'm the sweating. Fuck? What? Ah, I feel like this babe, hot feeling. I'm hot. 
Why? I don't know. I peed her on. No, no I... um, excuse me, film <gasps> my mom. No, I already see it. Feel mine. I know. Why am I sweating? No, feel my palm. Oh, I don't feel my palm, please. Oh, oh what the? Why fuck? am I hot? Wow. I'm not worried. You started feeling hot. What? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just got really, really hot. I'm I actually th sweating physically. I think you got like. <sighs> I don't know what happened. Um, sorry. Overheated? Mm -hmm. What happened? <laughs> That we have these weird bouts. I got really hot. I mean, no, we have these bouts where we'll feel really hot for some other reason, like probably from overexertion or probably for talking. I don't know what happened. Okay. Well, I just, I'm ugh. sorry, I'm cooling off now, but I just got, yeah, I'm like physically sweating, yeah, like that dripping. That what happens sometimes when we have like those stupid bouts. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I just got extremely hot and clammy. Uh, I don't know what happened there. Speaking of paranormal shit, let's get really hot. So, uh, oh dad, like I feel sweating. it. Like I feel the. Oh my hot. god! Like even though I'm not sweating, I feel hot. I'm not low. I ate McDonald's. No, no, so I'm I didn't not eat. low. We are fine. I'm not low. I don't feel like I have a glass of milk. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. I was not expecting for this to happen in the video. Not stage at all. I just started really, <laughs> really, really getting hot. My hands were immediately like red. Like wet. I feel it. Like <laughs> I feel me getting hot. Like what? The I don't like know. Something on? happened. An automatic dyslexia moment. I have no idea about this. Why do you happened. have automatic dyslexia? Don't you not have a spinal cord injury? I have nerve damage and stuff. Oh, yeah. I've always been having automatic dyslexia. Okay, anyway, I was just um, questioning. Yeah, I don't have a spinal cord injury. I just have nerve damage, repeated nerve damage throughout my spine. <laughs> That's fine. And some vertebrae that cause AD. Yep. Um, but. Excuse me? I don't know what happened. Anyway, um. That's all the paranormal stuff that has been happening so far. So we're going to be spamming the next couple of days. Sincerely, apologies, but it's actually stuff that goes on. Um, but I appreciate you guys for coming on, watching this fun little weird vlog thing, talk and sit thing. Um, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.